The county and the city of Sarasota have a $23 million grant to rehabilitate local neighborhoods littered with empty homes due to foreclosure. Commissioners met today to talk about just how to spend that money. SNN Local News 6 reporter Jessica Jordan joins me live from the newsroom with the details on this. Jessica. Well, that money will be used to reduce the number of vacant and abandoned homes in the area and also to bring existing buildings into compliance with code. It's a large task that county and city staff are trying to figure out just how to tackle. $23 million will help rehabilitate Newtown and several other North Sarasota neighborhoods littered with foreclosed homes and dilapidated houses. It's going to be very, very challenging. We asked for an ambitious amount of money not knowing whether the federal government would fully fund us or whether they would reduce funding. The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development decided to fully fund the program. Now local governments will have to act quickly to keep that federal money. They're required to spend 50% of the $23 million in two years and 100% of it in three years. Tenants in those new refurbished homes would be required to go through an approval process and receive a loan through the city. What we intend to do is sell those so that we can get larger amounts of money and make this program uh, sustainable. Commissioners met Tuesday to discuss the neighborhood stabilization program. County Administrator Jim Lay had concerns about the city underwriting loans as part of the program. Definitely there are some successes if this money is targeted properly and can be used to revitalize the neighborhood, but after a while it's unsustainable. City and county staff hope to rehabilitate 100 abandoned or foreclosed homes and construct 17 new homes. They'll also construct the third phase of Janie's Garden. All steps to give these North Sarasota neighborhoods a major overhaul quickly. Nonprofit groups approved to participate in the neighborhood stabilization program will sell all of the rehabilitated homes. Now, to get more information on how you can apply for one of these homes, you can visit the county's Housing and Community Development website at ohcd.sarasotagov.com. Lauren? Jessica, when you think about construction projects like this, you also kind of think about economic development and um, the economy in general. Are there any requirements uh, to hire local workers or anything like that to, to sort of make sure that, that the work is getting out to local people? Yeah, that was a concern today with several of the county commissioners. As it stands now, those nonprofit groups are not strictly mandated in how they fund these building projects as far as hiring the contractor to buying the building supplies. So county commissioners did talk today about ways to mandate that entire process so they can stretch this $23 million really as far as they can. All right, Jessica Jordan reporting for us on that. Thanks, Jessica.